In the world of sports and athletics, staying in peak condition isn't just a desire, it's a necessity. The path to success is paved with hard work, passion, and one more thing, sports medicine. Welcome everyone to You and Your Health. Today we are joined by Dr. Kent Bazaar to discuss the launch of Doctors Hospital's brand new sports medicine program, a game changer in the world of sports and athletics. Join us as we explore the cutting edge techniques, personalized care, and the incredible Im impact it will have on athletes, from amateurs to professionals. Stay tuned because this is a game you don't want to miss. It's time to unlock the secrets of sports medicine and its transformative power. This is You and Your Health. You and Your Health is brought to you by Doctors Hospital Health System. Welcome to You and Your Health, everyone. I'm your guest host, Alexis Burrows, Marketing Director at Doctors Hospital. Here with me to talk about the launch of the latest addition to Doctors Hospital's suite of services is Dr. Kent Bazard. Welcome to the show, Dr. Bazard. Alexis, thank you for having me. It's a pleasure to be here. So we are happy to have you on the show today to talk about this new intriguing program and what it means for athletes, both amateur and professional. So can you begin by telling us a little bit about the importance of sports medicine and its role in the world of sports and athletics? Yeah, so sports medicine the branch of sports medicine came about under the um, assumption that there was, a, there was a requirement for athletes to receive specialized care mm -hmm. from a physician that understood the biomechanics of sport, understood the details about the, uh, what is surrounding the injury that athletes um, would, would suffer, um, who has knowledge about the performance aspect and performance requirements mm -hmm. uh, is able to prescribe not just medication but also able to prescribe specific exercise programs tailored uh, for the athlete and also to be heavily involved in their prehabilitation and their rehabilitation mm -hmm. and the phase after the rehab, um, their, their rehab to make sure that they maintain an optimal level of performance and return to play at the highest level possible. So a specialized uh, physician was needed for that. Okay. Um, the branch of sports medicine is actually about 30 or 40 years old. So it's not necessarily for me who's just trying to you know, make sure I could, I could take a walk in my neighborhood. It's more so for your LeBron James and, and, and those types of athletes. Well, not necessarily. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's, also, it's also kind of blossomed into um, working with patients who have the non-communicable diseases such as your hypertension, your diabetes, uh, your obese patients, rheumatoid arthritis, osteoarthritis. Um, so we use the same mechanisms, the same assessments, and pretty much the same planning techniques that we use with our athletes mm -hmm. for those patients as well, but kind of tailoring it for whatever, for whatever, whatever their requirements are. Okay, understood. Mm -hmm. So what inspired the development and launch of this particular program that you're heading up? Well, uh, as, a passion, as a former athlete myself, and uh, also being passionate about working with youth and young people, um, I actually approached uh, my, uh, my, my seniors and my mentors at Doctors Hospital uh, with this idea to create, to expand the rehabilitation uh, system into something much broader and much bigger and to become pretty much the, the, the a hub for sports performance, sports rehab, psychology, nutrition, um, for in, in the region really, uh, for our local athletes, number one, but even for international athletes as well. So um, that kind of led to some conversations and some planning and we came up with this grand idea um, to, to, to create this system that works together in a way that um, is able to provide all these services Again, not just for athletes, but also mm -hmm. for those patients who would require and benefit from these, from these services. Okay. So thinking about, you know, we have a, a number of Bahamian athletes that are now, um, you know, gracing uh, the, the sports world in many different sports. We have Jazz Chisholm in baseball, we have Buddy Heald um, and DeAndre Ayton in basketball. Um, and, and we're looking at the development of sports locally in, into such a, a grand international scale. Mm -hmm. So why, based on that, is, is this type of care then essential for athletes in our environment? Well, looking from the ground up, 
um, for so many years, we've been relying on raw talent of our athletes. And while that is very important, um, we have a lot of athletes that kind of either fall through the cracks because there is no, there's no path. Mm -hmm. um, we're also missing a lot of talented athletes. I'm sure each of us knows someone who is very talented in a sport or just very talented physically, who was never given the opportunity, who was never either recognized or not given the proper guidance to achieve what they could possibly achieve in the sports world. So starting from the ground up, um, we, ne we need to have a national youth athletic development program mm -hmm. that may be in the later phases, but something that we would need to collaborate with uh, on a national scale uh, with the government to first identify and categorize these persons who have these specific talents. Um, it's, it's, we need to investigate, you know, why, why do so many great basketball players come from Freeport and Grand Bahama? Mm -hmm. Why are Androsian so strong? <laughs> why, uh, why, why, uh, why are uh, our Eastern Islands, island, uh, family islanders uh, so fast or able to run quarter miles so well? Mm -hmm. So um, by capturing this data, and of course you need the right facilities and equipment to capture this data, we can now look and create our own programs for identifying these athletes early on and uh, being able to channel them not just in the track and field and the core sports, right. but also there's such a wide uh, variety of sports that mm -hmm. athletes can play internationally that can get them into colleges, get them either the required education and maybe even take them all to the professional level. Right. Okay. Um, sounds very interesting mm -hmm. uh, when you put it in that perspective. Um, so can you tell us a little bit about you know, some of the services and treatments that will be offered to athletes and sports enthusiasts through this program? Right, so one of the things that we want to focus on is being as current and as cutting edge as possible. Mm -hmm. So we're looking to, first of all, have the, the uh, cutting edge technology and being able to assess uh, these patients and be able to identify uh, what the deficits are and what the uh, issues are that may have either contributed to the injury or are present as a result of the injury. So you're looking at uh, technology such as video capture, motion capture, um, uh, infrared. You're looking at um, um, the like the video analysis mm -hmm. of these athletes in standard motions and also in motions in their specific sport. Um, we're talking about uh, your artificial intelligence and analyzing the data because presently we have to we kind of analyze data manually, mm -hmm. um, looking at research that was previously done. And usually those are set parameters. With AI, you can actually adjust the parameters on the fly mm -hmm. to see what type of results you would get to be able to see what type of outcomes you would get before you get the outcome. Right. So you're able to, to test, well, if we change this parameter in this athlete's program, what's gonna happen? Right. So AI is gonna really help us with that. Um, virtual reality and augmented reality, uh, very good for training and simulation, um, also good for, for capturing data and being able to identify, again, what, uh, how, why, why is Jazz Chisholm's uh, swing so awesome? Why does he hit so many home runs? Mm -hmm. um, we can also, we're also talking about um, biologics, which is uh, using pretty much biological, um, biological structured uh, components mm -hmm. to help athletes with their injuries, uh, help them to recover faster from your know, minor strains and tears. And um, you can't forget the most important ones, which are often most neglected, the psychological component mm -hmm. and the nutrition component. Uh, there's lots of studies going into sports nutrition right now. Mm -hmm. And actually there's a new, uh, there's a new branch of nutrition called uh, nutrigenom nutrigenomics, mm -hmm. which is really the combination of nutrition and, and your genetics put together, where we analyze the athlete's actual genetics and how, they, how their uh, particular body handles certain structures or adjusts to a certain diet and how that relates to their performance. Um, we work very closely with the, um, with the orthopedic surgeons um, pre and post surgery, and of course, the the, the, the largest part of the, the that army that's on the field is your therapists. Your whole your your 
the spectrum of therapists that we have, the physical therapists, the massage therapists, um, who, who are going to be working with these athletes, um, especially in the acute phase. Right. And uh, you know, as we look at, at so many professional athletes are investing hundreds of thousands and even up to you know, millions of dollars per year in, in maintaining um, their ability to play sport at a high level, we can see the importance of a program like this, especially as we look towards advancement of, of sports even in our own country. Mm -hmm. uh, so Dr. Bazard, we have to take a quick break, but we have a lot more to talk about. Um, so you're watching You and Your Health, We'll be right back. Doctors Hospital is reimagined primary care. We have invested to improve our health system, ensuring that accessible, affordable, world-class clinical care is closer to you. Your relationship with a primary care provider shapes the foundation of your overall health. Our new, modern primary care facilities are where critical diagnosis and true personalized treatment begin. With locations across New Providence, Grand Bahama, and Exuma, we invite you to experience the doctor's hospital difference. Book your next appointment at clinics.doctorshospital.com. Doctors Hospital, our lamp just got brighter. The Loyalty Advantage Membership Program now has three unique plans to choose from. From lamp prepaid with free prime care visits and service line discounts, lamp insured with copay waivers and zero upfront collections at the ER and inpatient services, or our new lamp access, a free plan that offers 10% off lab, pharmacy, and imaging. Lamp has a plan for everyone. To sign up, visit our website or give us a call. Doctors Hospital, trusted and best care now. Welcome back to You and Your Health. If you're just tuning in, I'm Alexis Burrows, Marketing Director at Doctors Hospital, and today's guest host. On today's show, we are talking about Doctors Hospital's new sports medicine program with Dr. Kent Bazard. Before the break, we discussed the background of sports medicine. But now, as we continue our conversation, I want to go deeper into some of the benefits of a program like this. So Dr. Bazard, how will this new sports medicine program benefit athletes at different levels, from amateurs to professionals? Well, the first immediate benefit I would see would be managing their injuries and I think that is a big even though we have many talented uh, physiotherapists and therapy options in the Bahamas um, being able to provide uh, current and your pre uh, acute and post uh, rehab services I think that would really benefit our athletes in their return to play assessment um, it's something that we suffer from a lot uh, especially in our track and field sports is the hamstring injuries mm -hmm. and um, uh, this program will enable us to collect data and I'm, I'm very big on collecting data mm -hmm. and analyzing why certain things happen so um, it's one of the, one of my goals is to get to the bottom of why we have so many of these injuries uh, what are what are the predisposing factors specifically for our local athletes mm -hmm. so a facility like this will help athletes will help us in general be able to really do our own research, collect our own information, mm -hmm. and we will have the local coaches and, and other trainers will have access to their information and be able to uh, make decisions uh, based on real-time inf real information mm -hmm. that these athletes uh, yeah. receive. And I guess it's similar to other areas of medicine where you know, that specific investigation and inquiry into our, our local people, our own people, to see you know, what makes it different for us as opposed to someone who may you know, be from a different country or, or even of a different Correct. place. Um, so, so I imagine that's, that's crucial from that standpoint. All right, so can you share with us um, any success stories or case studies um, you know, that demonstrate the positive impact of sports medicine on athletes? Oh, definitely. Um, one of my athletes, I have to call his name, Mr. Jonathan Fowler. Uh, he is um, he's in college at the moment. He's a freshman in college. I meet so many of my athletes through them having an injury. Mm -hmm. um, we want to change that. But I met him through having a chronic hamstring, chronic recurring hamstring injury mm -hmm. um, that was really slowing him down. We were able to put a 
tailor a program uh, together for him that was able to keep him strong, um, help him to rehab his injury mm -hmm. during the season, which is very challenging. But in the off season, we developed a program to really strengthen and correct the, the causes of his, ham of his recurring hamstring injury mm -hmm. once we assessed that and um, got him on board with some nutrition. He dropped his times in the 100 meters mm -hmm. and was eventually scouted and is now in Texas um, at, a, at a university. So he's, he's, a, he's um, just one of those success programs. He was, he was scouted uh, by the NCSA and um, was able to get into college. So, so many, so many athletes benefit from this type, having this type of uh, access to this type of, of treatment. Another example is our, our national darling, uh, Shanae Miller Uibo. Um, she just came off a health, healthy birth, uh, pregnancy and birth and delivery, and was able to get back to competition standard. Um, she definitely had to have this, a support system in place. To, for her coaches and her trainers and also the medical staff to make sure that she's able to recover from her, um, her pregnancy and her delivery to get back to performing at an international level. And how do you see a program like this um, collaborating with you know, coaches, trainers, schools, teams, that sort of thing, um, to optimize athletes' performance and recovery? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. What does that relationship look like? So the way I see this program really benefiting our local athletes, our coaches, and trainers, is that we're able to collect data and information that will be able to guide these coaches mm -hmm. with their programs to make sure that they can provide the best training and the best programs uh, for these athletes. Knowing that we have, say, a certain issue with an athlete's right shoulder mm -hmm. in, in a throwing athlete, mm -hmm. or we know that um, there's an imbalance in the left hip of a sprinter. Um, we can determine this before the season starts, before the heavy training starts, so that the athlete, the um, coach, can design a program. He knows that this athlete has an imbalance, and he can now write a specific program uh, using techniques and periodization, et cetera, um, to make sure that we tackle this issue before it becomes an injury. I often tell my athletes, you know, the in, even though the injury happened today, mm -hmm. it is manifested today, but it started weeks or even months ago. Mm -hmm. So you have to take that approach. And being able to identify uh, these injuries as early as possible is, again, where the, the current trend where sports medicine is moving towards. Right. Now, you mentioned a fair amount about injury prevention. Um, and I want to ask you a question in terms of rehab. So obviously, um, you, I imagine you've heard stories going back in, in, in the day to when like Kobe went to Germany and did blood spinning in his knee, um, LeBron James sleeping in a hyperbaric chamber. Mm -hmm. um, what other ways, so obviously those are some really intriguing and interesting ways, but what other ways um, can sports medicine aid in the rehabilitation process? Well, the big buzz right now is cryotherapy, even though it's not new. Mm -hmm. So cryotherapy is just really using low temperature uh, for, for the purpose of recovery. Um, what we're finding out now is that it's actually much better than we thought it was. Mm -hmm. And there are different ways to deliver the cryotherapy. You can actually, you don't need an ice bucket anymore. Mm -hmm. they, have, they have, we can actually use um, uh, liquid nitrogen to, to deliver um, cold therapy um, to athletes without having to get wet. Um, just as cold or probably worse, mm -hmm. but, um, but yeah. <laughs> it's just, so we find that cryotherapy is, is, is all the buzz right now, and you actually have persons who are not athletic at all just doing cryotherapy because it, it rejuvenates the skin, right. it, it, it regulates um, your, your heart rate, um, increases metabolism, uh, it even helps you to burn a little bit of fat. Mm -hmm. so, um, so cryotherapy is very, is very popular right now. We also want to, um, we have some tissue therapies, mm -hmm. like your laser, um, various new types of ultrasound, uh, infrared, um, that we can use as modalities to help our athletes recover from injury, promote tissue healing, and um, get them back to return to play as soon as possible. I envision that if we can provide a service like this mm -hmm. for uh, um, our elite level youth athletes, mm -hmm. um, those, those ones that we have identified, again, through our, through our testing 
and through our evaluations that these are the athletes that are a cut above the rest. Mm -hmm. These are the ones that are going to, um, to, to, that have the potential to make it to the next level. If they can get this added support, it's really going to increase their performance at the high school level, but especially at the college level when they're moving towards professionals. So right. hopefully these are the services we want to provide. That sounds like some really interesting and amazing stuff. Mm -hmm. um, I hope you're enjoying this discussion at home as much as I am. We will continue our conversation with Dr. Bazard when we return. This is You and Your Health. We'll be right back. At Doctors Hospital, our lamp just got brighter. The Loyalty Advantage Membership Program now has three unique plans to choose from. From LAMP prepaid with free prime care visits and service line discounts, LAMP insured with copay waivers and zero upfront collections at the ER and inpatient services, or our new LAMP access, a free plan that offers 10% off lab, pharmacy, and imaging. LAMP has a plan for everyone. To sign up, visit our website or give us a call. Doctors Hospital, trusted and best care now. Whether you're battling a chronic condition or offsetting a new injury, Doctors Hospital's comprehensive rehab services offer the help you need now. Go to doctors. Three advanced facilities at Collins Avenue, Carmichael Road in Cable Beach means your personalized plan for care is just a visit away. From physiotherapy to occupational therapy and speech and language pathology, our team approach is all about rebuilding together. For a full list of services, visit doctorshosp.com forward slash rehabilitation. Doctors Hospital, trusted and best care now. Isn't your health worth it? Welcome back to You and Your Health. I'm Alexis Burroughs, today's guest host. Our guest, Dr. Kent Bazard, is still here and we're wrapping up our discussion on the new Doctors Hospital Sports Medicine Program. As we close, I'd like to discuss some of the goals and objectives of the program with you, Dr. Bazard. So, I think you've touched on this a little bit earlier in terms of some of the different areas and um, specialties that will be involved in this, but what kind of professionals um, will be a part of your sports medicine team? What all can people expect um, as they come into in engaging with you and your team? Yeah, so sp sports medicine is a broad area. Mm -hmm. um, so even your massage therapy is a part of sports medicine. Mm -hmm. So we will have massage therapists, physiotherapists, and um, in, in, some re in some regards, and even occupational therapists may be necessary. And um, we're looking at your um, your orthopedic surgeons. Mm -hmm. We work very closely, the physicians work very closely with the orthopedic surgeon, um, whether there needs to be a referral for an invasive procedure or um, directing the rehab um, post-op. Mm -hmm. um, also working closely and as necessary uh, with endocrinologists and nutritionists, um, working with uh, psychologists and psychiatrists when needed, and um, uh, rheumatoid doctors, and um, sometimes even do neurology when we're looking at nerve injuries, um, working with uh, neurology uh, specialists as well. So the clinical sports physician is kind of the quarterback um, as we monitor and manage the athlete, making sure that each one of these specialties is one available and they're getting the right result from the right specialty. So that's the purpose of the, 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 the clinical sports physician kind of sits in the middle mm -hmm. and makes sure that all of these aspects are being identified and addressed in the athlete. Right. And I guess, again, as with a lot of, a lot of other areas of medicine nowadays, it is a, a multidisciplinary approach. Absolutely. Because right, you're looking at, at the athlete as a whole person, not just you know, this one specific area. Mm -hmm. Okay, awesome. Um, can you discuss, I know you mentioned cryotherapy. Obviously, people may have some awareness about things like hyperbaric um, oxygen chambers. But can you talk about some of the other um, research and advancements in sports medicine um, you know, that you might be interested in bringing to, to the program as you grow and develop over time? I, one of my favorites is the virtual and augmented reality mm -hmm. because I think that it provides us the ability to test an athlete on the field without being on the field. Mm -hmm. um, 
it's a challenge to have to well test a batter's swing after you've done a specific modality or therapy mm -hmm. um, right there in the office where if you have um, you know the right setup mm -hmm. you can actually do a virtual reality testing or, or assessment right there to see if there's been any adjustment um, or if there's been any improvement instead of the follow-up visit which could be weeks to months later mm -hmm. and you may find out at the follow-up visit well nothing happened right. um, you, you know we didn't we didn't improve it at all so right. we have to be starting from scratch but we've lost two weeks mm -hmm. you know so so um, that's very exciting for me um, the biologics as well also very exciting because we're able to use these new therapies and uh, new modalities to minimally using using minimally invasive techniques but mm -hmm. Um, to introduce care and treatment directly into the affected tissue. Um, and uh, that's either with or without ultrasound guidance and sometimes with CT or MRI guidance, but um, to be able to, 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 to really improve the care and improve the recovery mm -hmm. of the tissue in a shorter period of time um, with, the, with these biologics, uh, able to reduce pain and reduce uh, time to play, which is very important, uh, return to play for, for athletes. So those are very exciting areas. Yeah, that sounds like some very interesting um, and amazing stuff, especially the, the augmented reality. I can imagine you have a, a boxer even potentially sparring in, in that type of environment to kind of see the emotions and that sort of thing. It's, it's, mm -hmm. it's, a, very, um, it's a very interesting space to be in, I'm sure. Um, but can you tell us a little bit about some of your primary goals and objectives that you hope to achieve with this program? My goal is to, one, make sure that our local athletes can have access to high quality sports medicine care. Um, they, can, they can have access to a program that will really help them to achieve their dreams and their goals, um, and a program that will help them to recover and uh, assess and, and help them to repair their injuries. Um, also very important to increase and augment uh, their actual performance mm -hmm. because athletes and parents um, dump a lot of time and money. My parents always remind me <laughs> that um, <laughs> this is a very expensive venture and I'm, I'm a sports parent myself right. and so I understand it's very expensive to try to to help your, 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 your kid to reach their sports goal. Um, but being in the country we are in, being a third world country still, um, sometimes these things are in the past. These um, modalities have not been available or the right. service may not be available in one place. I want to make sure that that service is available for everybody uh, from as young an age as we possibly can mm -hmm. um, so that they can benefit them and help them to achieve their goals. Awesome. Um, and one last question for you. As an athlete turned physician turned sports medicine specialist, um, what message or advice do you have for an aspiring athlete who maybe is looking down the line and considering um, you know, how sports medicine, what, what role it plays in their career? Well, in your career, you have to not, never take it for granted. Mm -hmm. And never take for granted the building blocks of your performance, which is nutrition. Nutrition is the building blocks of your performance. And I think that's one of the things that is a challenge locally. We have so much access to fast food, mm -hmm. but the uh, more nutrition dense food is kind of hard to access. And even those who wish to eat it, they, they, it's very difficult mm -hmm. um, to, to purchase or afford these types of foods. So um, again, don't take it for granted. Take it very seriously. Um, commitment and discipline is what will get you to where you want to be. Awesome. I want to thank you so much, Dr. Bazard, for taking time out of your schedule today to join us for you and your health and for the in-depth conversation and information. Thank you for having me. All right. It has been a pleasure hosting today's show. Don't forget to follow You and Your Money on social media and tune in next week for another exciting show. Thanks for watching.